Stacy, let's pretend you're out in the wilderness, away from everybody, and you need to be rescued. And uh, somebody goes way over there on the other side of the mountain, and you'd like to signal them with a mirror. Okay. One way, is, of course, is to try to flash the light over there, because they, then they'd see you. But the light, when it gets way over there, is so weak that you, that you can't, aren't sure that you're really aiming at them. So this is a special signal mirror. Notice there's a mirror on this side, uh -huh. and a mirror on that side. And there's a little hole in both mirrors. So that's going to help you line it up. Now here's what you do. All right. I'm going to line the, the, the uh, mirror up so that I can look through the hole and see that bush over there. Yeah. Then the light coming through the mirror is also shining on my shirt right here. And I can see the little spot where the sun is coming through that. When I line that spot on my shirt with the hole in the mirror, I'm aiming right at the bush. See the bright light on the bush over there? Yeah. Okay, so you try it. All right. So look, first of all, look through the hole, and you don't have to hold it close, look through the hole and see the bush. Now where's the spot of light on you? It's right on its shirt. Okay, and move it so that spot, you see the reflection of that spot of light. There you got it. You see it? Yeah. Okay, now slowly move it over, keeping that spot of light, now raise it up and you can see way at the top of the hill or whoever it is, and you know that they see it absolutely perfectly. There's a bright spot of light, just like you were shining the sun on them. That's really neat. Okay, now, I wonder, do you understand the sort of optics involved? Not really. Well, come on, and let's take a diagram, and then I think you'll understand it perfectly. Okay, here's the mirror that we were using outside. Right. And that's represented by this piece of gray wood I have here. Okay. It's a mirror on both sides. Yeah, right? with the hole in it. Right. Now, have you heard about angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection? No, we haven't taken okay. that yet in school. Well, this board represents the mirror, and this is the line perpendicular to the mirror. Okay. This is a beam of light coming in like this, striking the mirror. It will then bounce off of that plane surface at this angle, which and these two angles are exactly the same. Angle of incidence and An the angle, angle of, of reflection. reflection. So if I move the angle of incidence like that, the angle of reflection is going to be close move to like the, that. the perpendicular line. And of course, whatever, whatever the angles are. Now remember that, because that's the important principle in our mirror with the spot in the middle. Okay. There is a diagram. Uh, crummy though it is, <laughs> that's supposed to be the sun. Okay. What do you suppose that is? A bush or that's something? That's the bush, right. This... Is the mirror. See, on both sides, right? Right. That's your eye. Okay. okay. What you're trying to do is to put the mirror up here and angle it so that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection like that. Here's the angle of incidence, there's the angle of reflection, right? Right. And here's the line perpendicular to the mirror. Now, one of the lines going through the hole in the mirror, we've already established, because you're looking directly at the bush. The angle of reflection? Okay, well, that you know, that's the angle of reflection. That's what you want to be able to see. And then you remember the, the, the hole in the mirror, little little spot of light on you? Right. And what did I tell you to do? To light up the spot with the hole in the mirror. Okay. The minute you can see the spot through, reflected from the front surface of the glass in the mirror to your eye, what do you know about these two angles? That these two angles equal the same as these two okay, angles? Right. So th with this one common line, this line must be the same as that. This line must be the same as this line. So the angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection, and that's why when you aimed it, you were able to see the spot of light right on the bush, or later, way off in the distance, to signal the rescuer. Remember? <laughs> yeah. So you've been rescued. Okay? Okay.